currently 8.39 a.m. The temperature outside is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and minimum temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> oh. <sighs> All right, so um what you saw was a little bit of my night last night. Um it was my first concert I ever went to. I'm gonna get back to that later. I'm off to a late start. Um, I've really been trying to hammer in my uh, fitness the last few days, trying to get some weights in, trying to get some cardio in at least five days a week. But um, I normally get up and do that around six. As you heard from my alarm, I got up at like 8.40. So I'm a couple hours late. I actually have a session that I'm late for right now. So I'm gonna go knock out my session, then knock out my workout. I was gonna show you some of it, but I have to do that tomorrow. And then I'll be back to let you know about the concert and my thoughts and yeah, and what I plan on doing moving forward. So let's get after this work. Got the workout out the way. Um, again, I apologize for not being able to show y'all any of it. I was actually running super late. So I had to get out there and get my athlete situated. Oh, it's kind of bright out here. I had to get my athlete situated and uh, we had a good workout. Um, and then I went and did mine, hit a little bit of chest and back, finished with some cardio, got to lose some weight. Um, I will actually be very happy when I can run again because I've gotten plantar fasciitis. And it's crazy. I keep getting hurt now that I'm done competing on a high level. Um, back when I was in college and in high school and even trying to go pro, um, I'll take that back when I started trying to go pro is when I started getting my major injuries. But before that, I was healthy, man. And... I'm starting to think, you know, it's two factors. One, of course, is age. Um, I'm getting older, my body's wearing down. I can't do what I used to do. Um, so that's definitely one of the factors. And then another being um, that I'm walking around with more weight than I've ever had in my life. Um, like I said, I'm in the 190s. I've always competed at 150 in college, football 160. So that's why, let's go buddy. That's why I'm like really trying to get my cardio back in, in line so that I can get back to the things that I love to do without my body being so mad at me for doing it. Come on, Duke. So, ah, out of breath from trying to talk to y'all and walk up and down these stairs. Um, I've been trying to structure my days here lately. I've been, you know, trying to get up at six o'clock, which didn't happen today. I try to get my workout out the way with the emphasis on cardio. I've been eating clean now for, this is my second week. And by clean, I like literally mean clean. Cause when I used to say clean, it was more like clean-ish. I would eat healthy one or two times a day and eat whatever for dinner. But now I've been sticking to a strict like breakfast. It's like yogurt and oatmeal or uh, egg whites. You know, lunch, I'll have a salad. Um, dinner, I'm having fish and rice and vegetables for snacks. I'm having like carrots and ranch. So like, I'm really serious about getting back down. Um, so I want to get back down to about 170, 175. I don't think I want to be much lighter than that anymore. Um, there's no need. I like to, I would like to have a little weight on me anyway. So uh, yeah, that's that. And um, it just feels good now that I don't have to report anywhere because right now I'm 100% self-employed. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Right now I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully I can build my clientele base up, uh, you know, really get this YouTube thing going. And hopefully it can stay this way because I've known since I was little I wanted to work for me. And now that I finally am, um, it feels real good because I get to structure my day the way I want. Like I said, I get up at six and work out. And I try to knock out a video for the day. Um, even though I've been slacking on that terribly, I've recorded a lot of stuff and haven't even used it. So I've been trying to do it this week. I'll be posting one every day this week, um, or at least until the weekend. But yeah, I try to be finished with my day every day around like 11. So then after that, I can just worry about my clients and my sessions and my dog and whatever else I want to do. So that's what I'm about to get into now. I'm about to go ahead and knock my video out. I'm running super behind. It's 1.35 and I have a session at four. So I'm gonna try to get this video uh, edited out. I'm gonna try to upload the one I edited yesterday. And then, like I said, I gotta tell y'all about the concert because it was my first one. All right. 
finally home, got everything done. I think today has been a spectacularly productive day. So if y'all can hear that loud humming and woo, woo, woo sound because uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to get out the way. That's a massager in my chair because today during my workout I did back and chest and my back is a little bit tight. I've uh, honestly neglected my back the majority of my life. But anyway, about that concert last night. So I'm sorry that I just showed so little of it right there uh, because you know, it was actually a pretty good concert. It was the first one of my life, but I was in a very unfavorable state, if you catch my drift. Um, so, I didn't really want to show too much of that, because that recorded me acting silly and jumping around in the crowd and all that good stuff. But I figured, like, looking at it uh, today, that maybe I should just show the actual performers. So, that's why I just showed you a little bit of it there. But it was actually a really good uh, really good time. Um, it was Machine Gun Kelly and uh, Fall Out Boy. And I grew up with Fall Out Boy, so I was excited to see him, and I actually liked quite a few of the Machine Gun Kelly songs. But I realized really quickly that you can't really say you're a fan of an artist unless you know a lot of that stuff. A lot of people know just the, 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 the chart toppers and the top hits and the stuff that made them famous. And there's nothing wrong with that, because I have a lot of people that like like that, but I realized last night after going to that concert that... I can be a fan of your music without being a true fan of you because um, Machine Gun Kelly and Fall Out Boy played a whole lot of stuff I had never heard. Machine Gun Kelly played maybe three or four songs that I knew and Fall Out Boy played maybe four or five songs that I knew out of about ten. So I realized like thinking about it at the concert, I was like, you know, I'm a Kanye West fan. I know almost every Kanye West song. It's very hard for you to play some unless it's his new stuff. Um, it's very hard for you to play a Kanye West song. I'm like, uh, what is that? I've never heard of that. But that happened a lot last night at the concert. So that made me realize that I'm not a true fan. I'm just a fan of some of their best work. But I still had a good time. And um, Machine Gun Kelly, for whatever reason, he like rocked up a lot of his music like he's a rapper but i guess because it was a crowd that was there for like a pop rock group he wanted to play more to their strength so like he had rock and rolled out a lot of his stuff he had electric guitars and had a drummer and a dj on this side and it was just it was kind of weird because one of my favorite songs by him sale he rock and rolled it and i was like ah oh, man you ruined it man you ruined the moment but with that being said the drummer for mgk was phenomenal I spent most of the night watching him. Like the guy spinning his sticks and slapping them and was up dabbing and just, he was phenomenal. Now the drummer from Fall Out Boy was good too, but he just seemed so serious the whole time he was drumming like. And the other guy was having fun from Machine Gun Kelly. So uh, safe to say I had a really good time. And I also realized another thing. And I'm gonna let this go because I'm, I'm rambling on now. Concerts are so fun because of all the theatrics that go into it. It was my first one, but I realized really quick, I enjoyed the songs a lot more because of how the strobe lights were going off and how the pyros were going off and the sparks and the guitar with the flames. And I was like, it just made everything so much more exciting. So uh, yeah, it was a good time. And, Honestly, it made me want to go see another concert. So I love to go see Kanye or J. Cole or um, I like to see Lady Gaga because I think she's an excellent performer. Um, I will go to Bruno Mars, just Timberlake. Uh, that's just a few, but I think I'm going to check out another concert because I really had a good time. So I really want to go to somebody that I'm really a huge fan of. But yeah, um, that was my first ever concert uh, with two artists that I realize I'm fans of their best works, not fans of their entire body of work. Yeah.